I want to demonstrate how to scrape a canvas and here I'm cleaning up a canvas knife with a 5 16 diameter hole cutter and I will make a list of all the tools on my blog so um, just go to my blog that's up today and I will make a list now here's another tool that I use. Um, I'm cleaning it up. It's a ceramics tool. And some people call it a loop tool or a loop knife. But it's used by ceramicists. Now here I'm going to sharpen up the, the hole cutter. And I'm using a 3M sanding pad. And this is a coarse one. Um, you can get these from most box stores. Now this is a piece of leather that I've cut from the tongue of an old shoe and I'm rubbing a stropping medium onto that leather. Now um, you don't want to use a piece of leather that's too shiny so you know use a piece of leather that maybe uh, has some texture to it or you can sand off the shininess. So I'm just sanding the metal here and that is a way to sharpen. Of course you can use a stone as well. Now, after I get it to a certain uh, fineness, I, I shift over to a medium and I use a swiping motion to kind of sharpen up one side. Now, I only sharpen up one edge, so I leave the other edge blunt. And then, after I get it fairly sharp, I use the stropping compound. And you can see the, the green there is is turning gray, and that's the uh, little bits of steel coming off of the ceramic tool so that's how you know if you're if you're sharpening that up now you gotta be careful with the stropping compound you can get your your uh, knives really sharp with this and uh, you can cut yourself so be careful when you're testing it I uh, originally used the stropping compound to sharpen up my woodcut tools so uh, I used it here as well. So the first thing I do is just kind of start brushing off some of the bigger chunks with um, the ceramic tool. Now it might get dull while you're while you're scraping, so you can just stop. You know, clean off your loop and sharpen up again, and it'll work pretty good. You'll notice that it tends to, when that big chunk came off and went back to the gesso, it was because I um, scraped up against the stretcher bars underneath. So that'll sometimes happen. It's, it's not a big deal. Now one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I want the shadow to be thin. And I, I did this painting as a demo uh, for a class I was giving, and I sort of introduce too much texture into the shadow. So in order to eliminate that I'm going to scrape this down and then I'm going to go back in, oil up the entire canvas and then paint into the surface and use a thinner texture in the shadow. Now here I'm using that hole cutter and it can get quite sharp. Uh, you know I use that the stopping compound on that as well and you can use that to like sort of pluck off the big knobs of paint and you can just catch them with that edge and just pull them right off. So yeah, that's a great tool. It, it, it can get quite sharp as well. So you have to be careful. Generally speaking, I, I um, keep the paint film thick enough that, you know, the tool won't, you know, mar the canvas except for where that, that stretcher bar kind of forces the paint to come off a little easier. Now I'm using this the um, canvas knife here. The canvas knives I'm using are very, very stiff. They don't bend like a butter knife might or a palette knife, you know, or even a like a, a knife that you might use in the kitchen. Uh, here's the two styles I use. One's sort of a lozenge shape, and the other one is more of a traditional knife shape. They, they need to be very, very stiff, and you can sharpen them up as well, but um, 
I think it's best to keep the blades, you know, as thick as as, as thick as you can, because you don't want them to bend at all. So I go back to using my ceramic tool again, and um, it, it's a great all-around tool. Now here I'm using the lozenge shaped canvas knife, and it, it's good for um, a certain type of, of uh, texture. All these knives and ceramics tools I'm using have their place, so it's nice to have a nice selection of knives to um, use for a variety of purposes. This um, section over here was sort of brittle, and that knife just could pop those off quite nicely. I decided that I didn't like this kind of intermediary texture between the light and the dark, so I'm just going to pull it off with this lozenge-shaped canvas knife. You can see I'm picking up some paint underneath there, and that'll happen. That's okay. You just keep, you know, scraping away, and you just clean off your knife or your ceramic tool, and. Um, and kind of smooth it out as best you can. Of course you need to let that layer dry if you do pull up some wet paint under there. But um, now here's the finished piece. Now some of you may think that this looks fine and it does but I just wanted to um, get rid of some of the monotony. Here's the scraped canvas and this will provide a great service to paint into next time.